Hey guys, and tonight, welcome to my Cena show review. Yes, the Cena show. And I'm not stealing this from samples. LOL. <laughs> Hey guys, what's happening? And yesterday was a big, like I was busy day, busy day for me. Uh, so I had a lot of troubles with Raw, but I got as many notes as I could. I even got a couple backstage promos. But yeah, um, so if you want to watch this video, you just need to pay $9.99. Uh, anyway, so I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, we started out tonight with, uh, Hulk Hogan's music hit first, and, you know, he got an average pop to, from today's crowd, uh, old people, and, uh, and R Ric Flair, he didn't really get too much of a pop, I don't think, and then Shawn Michaels came out, I was even surprised, I didn't expect him to come out, I don't follow, does he have an Instagram, because... I follow Brett, Christian, and Edge on Instagram, but I don't follow, um, anyone, any other wrestlers, uh, because I can't find any other wrestlers' Instagram, and I don't want to follow the WWE's Instagram, because, you know, they'll post $9.99 each week, um, but yeah, um, they came out, and they were doing their predictions for Night of Cena, and <laughs> I just said Night of Cena, oh my gosh, Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I just finished watching the CM Pulse review, and all I can think about is Night of Cena. <laughs> hey, go check him out. He's pretty funny. Uh, he has a lot of subscribers. He, he doesn't really need it anymore, but still, go check it out. He does some pretty funny content. Um, our reviews, but um, so they, you know, their predictions. Cena, uh. Sean voted, uh, 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 Sean voted, Le voted Re Lesnar, Ric Flair, surprisingly voted, uh, Lesnar too, I, d I was actually expecting him to vote for Cena, cause you know, he's a big Cena boy, but Hogan, you know, I, I guess of course Hogan voted for Cena, Cena, oh, did I say Rick and, um, Sean voted for Cena. They voted for Lesnar. I think I might have said that wrong. But, they're arguing. Cena comes out and says, Thank you for, you know, your respect and stuff. And blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, blah. I'm surprised these guys didn't start beating the crap out of each other. Because, let's see. Sean retired Flair. Uh, Hogan's last match with us, Shawn Michaels. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Then, commercial break. Uh, Next match was Jack Swagger versus Rusev, and, you know, they had their chemistry and stuff in the match, and obviously it wasn't one of their best matches. Usually, Raw matches that happen at pay-per-views usually ain't as good. Um, but, yeah, uh, I guess they had a match. Uh, <laughs> like I said, I, I, I didn't get to see too much of a handful of the matches, but um, Rusev made, uh, they were saying, oh my god, he broke his ribs, but Rusev made, uh, Jack Swagger not be able to compete anymore, and, yeah, uh, okay, next we had RVD and Cesaro, also, there was no point for that match, probably, by the way, but next we had RVD and Cesaro fighting for the USA Championship, and I didn't see too much of this, but I'm guessing they had a good match, since those two guys usually have good matches, um, you know, Sheamus was on commentary. He's the United States champion. They had a match. Uh, how does Zara want with the neutralizer? Just like Extreme Rules. And uh, afterwards, he uh, came down, took Sheamus' belt. It looked like he was going to get away, but Sheamus was like, hey, give me that back. He looked like he was about to hand it to Sheamus, and Sheamus put his hands out, and he threw it at Sheamus' face and hit him in the face with it. So. That was, I guess, pretty cool. Uh, these guys have had pretty good matches before, so I'm not expecting this one to disappoint either. Not like uh, the main event tonight. So, next we have Paige and Nutalia. Nutalia. Uh, they had a match, Paige won with 
uh, I think the page turner, I can't remember, I know they had a match, uh, I guess they worked stiff, you know, and Talia's not a super bad diva wrestler, she's kind of worked there for, since like, I think like 2007 or something, about as long as the Bellas, um, but, um, yeah, um, then AJ comes out afterwards, it's pretty much says, how oh, you're still my friend and stuff, then hugs Paige and then kisses her hand, so, uh, I don't know what storyline they're trying to do, uh, because Paige is, I mean, crawling all over the women, uh, kissed AJ Lee, uh, thing, but he, she, Paige crawling over women, AJ Lee, hugging and kissing Paige, uh, yeah, seems interesting for guys. And some women. And probably... Just... I'm gonna shut up now. But... Uh... Next was Seth Rollins. He had... I can't remember what it's called, but if something for Dean, they showed, like, what happened last week. I think this segment was pretty funny. Uh, you know, they don't really cut, but... You know how they pretty much killed Dean last week. <laughs> um... But, yeah, so, you know, they were doing all that. With, um and stuff, and, um, I know, um, Wrestlemania, oh, why did I say Wrestlemania, um, but then Roman Reigns comes out, and, uh, I'm pretty sure beats up Kane on the outside, and then goes to inside, destroys stuff, you know, he spear him, and then Kane just, like, flips him. Like, literally, he grabbed his leg and flipped him, his face. Like, Seth actually, like, face planted into the mat, and then just dragged him out of the ring. And, yeah. I believe that was the end of the second, first hour. Not too much, uh, way better than the third hour, probably. In my honest opinion. But, second hour started. Definitely best hour of the night. Uh... You know, it started, I believe, with a gold dust and star dust. You know, one of their backstage things were like, Oh, look at the cosmic stars. Look at my lucky charms. Uh, I don't know where that came from. And then we had Usos versus gold dust and star dust. Or gold, I mean, not gold, uh, dust, uh, or gold and star dust. That, I believe that's what the announcer said. Um, you know, I, I guess their match is pretty cool, but... Uh, Usos won by one out, and yeah, that was the end. We thought that was about the end, but then Stardust freaking out, but Goldust came in the ring and started talking about, we want a rematch now, and they just heel turned. Like, I did not expect a heel turn anytime soon. Tonight was their heel turn. Yes, did not expect that coming. Um... They beat the Uso, the crap out of the Usos, and left. I thought, I thought this was like moment of the night until something a little bit later. I'll say. Next was Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz. Oh, plus P4 is rematch cloth. Go away. Huh. His face shouldn't get hurt. Maybe he needs a stunt devil or dummy. So, he got Damien Mizdow. <laughs> no joke. Um, you know, there wasn't much to this match, uh, it's a match, um, an average Damien, but, yeah, Miz playing into his gimmick real well, and, you know, Dolph doing his thing, there wasn't that much to talk about, but it was okay, and I know some people said it's part of the third hour, I think that's part of the second hour, because I checked my clock, so, Nikki and Bree, uh, the family thing, and I thought... This was probably the best thing of the night overall, other than the heel turn. And, um, like, you know, they're fighting, you know, Bree's not very good on the mic, but, uh, Bree's doing her thing. Uh, her best cry, I guess. Nikki. Oh, I love Nikki. Um, Nikki, you know, is doing her thing. And, uh, okay, I will admit, uh, we've all gone too far, uh, Nikki definitely went too far when she said, I wish you would have died in the wound or whatever. Okay, I don't think they should have said that much. I mean, they said worse on the show before. Other than that, it was pretty cool. I believe Jerry got slapped. She flipped Brie out of her chair. Uh, you know, she was wearing a small skirt when she was bent over. So we got to see stuff. And yeah, um, 
that was, that was funny too. Uh, guys on the internet, oh, like Nikki a lot. Could it be? Um, but um, she probably said, and you guys want a piece. I think that's how she says she's. You guys want a piece of the piece of the Bella Twins, uh, but you guys are all too fat and ugly. <laughs> like that was funny. Um. Yeah, um, you know, they're probably gonna have a match of SummerSlam, or not SummerSlam, uh, Night of Cena, oh my gosh, I said Night of Cena again, Night of Champions, and yeah, I thought this was probably the best thing the night. Third hour began, we had the handicap match, Kane and Seth versus Roman, not much of a match, um, Roman won, qualification, they're, they, afterwards they kind of beat the crap out of Roman, and they were getting ready to do the curve stomp thing again on the... Which I don't know how they got them in again, but on the, <coughs> sorry, um, the bricks, I, I knew their names last week, I forget names real easily, um, but yeah, uh, Roman countered, you know, punched Dean, uppercut him in there, uh, beat up Kane, he jumped off the thing, did Superman punch, I think, Seth, and this was funny, he took one of the cylinder blocks, I think I got it now, threw it at the post, and just the debris from it when it broke, it flew. And you know, you know how Jerry he does, he took pile driver spots. I believe he's been blown up before, kind of like McFoley. You know, he's done a lot, and he gets hit with a couple pieces of cinder block in the face, and he's like, "Oh my God, I'm dying!" And Michael's like, "You okay? You okay?" And he's like, "Yeah, I think so." But yeah, um, you know that was kind of funny. But other than that, okay, I guess. Um, after that, we have the team of Row, 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 Slager, and Titus O'Neil. Uh, they don't expect this tag team. They lost to them, lost them on doors, but I thought this was a little funny tag team, you know. Uh, 3MB, the guys got fired, and Darren, you know, the primetime players broke up, so now it's just Darren doing, you know, his stupid crap. Sorry. He's doing the stupid stuff, and yeah, that's about it, uh, sad they lost, they usually don't lose their own debut, but whatever, I think after this, you know, I looked up on screen and saw Jack in the ring and Bo just laying down, because they had a backstage earlier thing where Jack was injured and Bo was like, you just got Bo life, but I think Jack attacked Bo, so that's probably going to be in the next feud, after that, we have John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. You know, you I expect this to be a good match. Okay, Bray Wyatt had no entrance, pr pretty much got no offense, and got the crap beat out of him by Cena. Cena, jo Bray job the Cena. Did uh, didn't he take like suplexes and stuff too? Just like John did. Why they do this to Bray? Could you do it to like Zack Ryder? Or maybe that wouldn't make sense. How about you do it to like Heath Slater or Tyson O'Neil? Because, uh, in case you don't know, Ryder's supposed to be friends with Cena. But, um, I found that so stupid. Um, and I think Henry and them came out and, you know, you thought it was over? No! Cena made Luke Harper tap out. Uh, and then gave attitude justice for the whole team. And that, that was it. I don't know. It's just so stupid. I'm done talking about Raw. Uh, before I get too mad right now. Uh, you know what happens on Rage Quit. But yeah, a raw review. I don't want to talk about the ending too much. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, peace.